655. Now, we had a terrific discussion out of the main right in Milan for the wrap up and the conclusion of that. We're going to send it right yeah. back out to meteorologist Andy McCray. <laughs> Hey, Redra, great to be with you guys on Local 4 News this morning. I think my first appearance on the show, and it's kind of nice. It's my first and my second appearance on the show because I'm here twice this morning. It is a little weird having Jim looking over my shoulder all morning long. I don't know how I feel about that, but right. Okay, so we just have a couple of minutes left. We wanted to talk about a couple things, though, as far as, you know, the flood. Okay, so the water is going down now, but everything's not back to normal. This is going to, there's a long road ahead, and all of the danger and everything is not, again, just Peachy. Everything's not fine just yet. It'll be a little while. Right. And yeah, we're seeing the rivers uh, recede, not only the Mississippi, but the tributary river too. So the rocks going down as well. The Wops, Pennykin's going down. Well, they might come up a little bit here with some of the recent rains, but nothing significant right now. But and we do have kind of a drier forecast in the next week or two. Um, but we can't let our guard up, down yet. Uh, our levels are still high. Our soils are still uh, saturated. So if we get a heavy rain here um, in the next month, that could cause levels to go right back up. So, um, you know, until we're back down to normal levels, it, it's it's good to keep an eye on on things. Okay, and we just have about a minute left, but um, who wants to weigh in here? Obviously, one of the hot button topics, the flood wall in Davenport. If something like that was to come together, um, is it a city thing? How would they pay for it? And I know it's not exactly your jurisdiction, might, but who wants to weigh I in a little bit? That, uh, I don't know all the numbers, but I, I heard something about like $177 million for the wall. Mm -hmm. And I think Davenport spends like 250000 to 500000 I don't know if that's a year per flood. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. But but anyway, so it, it's a, it is a money thing. That's what it is. But I, I'm sure that uh, there's probably federal grants. There's money. There's from the uh, RIF budget possibility would be from the state. So there's there, I'm sure they've looked at a lot of these resources, but I bet they'll look a lot harder now that all this is happening. I think one of the things, um, since since the Mississippi divides uh, states, um, it really is the Corps of Engineer conversation as well. So it's federal government uh, as well as the city of Davenport. It's a partnership, and the disaster declaration makes a difference as to the kinds of resources that you'll get. That federal disaster declaration is so very important for us. And hopefully that's coming. Well, uh, we're going to continue this discussion on Facebook Live for now from Maid Right in Milan. That'll, that'll do it for us. Thanks again to Cindy Winkler, Trish Burnett, Mark Lofgren, Phyllis Thede, and Jessica Brooks. I appreciate all of the input this morning, guys. And again, we'll continue this on Facebook Live, so if you want to share a couple of thoughts, you'll be able to join us there momentarily. For now, though, we'll send it to Redrick and Ash in the studio. All right, Andy, thanks so much. Yes, very important discussions happening there. And, and like they said, we're still going to have to watch it until yeah. it gets all the way back into the river. Forward. Yeah, and he was a little terrified of Jim looking over his shoulder. I was a little terrified of Andy looking I, over I tell you, it, it's scary. He's my, you know, direct know, supervisor. That's, your, that's, your, that's your boss boss. I'm, I'm minding my P's and Q's <laughs> here this morning. All righty, we are going to be looking at a drier forecast, though. Very fortunate for that. And uh, like, like Jessica Brooks was saying and Andy was saying, we're, we're going to keep our eyes very, very close to the skies here in the near future. But mostly dry 10 day forecast here a little bit of a sigh of relief in the meantime back to the 70s by next week a couple cool days here but as long as there's no rain i think we're okay yeah, that sounds good to me <laughs> all right ash thanks and thanks for joining us for local foreign news this morning cbs this morning's up next year we'll have more local news on fox 18. Right, we'll be back here in 26 minutes with an arquadcities.com news and weather update Follow Local 4 News 24 hours a day on OurQuadCities.com. Hairstyles provided by Infinity Salon and Spa.